Today we're in Joshua Tree National Park and we're gonna hike the Split Rock Loop. Today is gonna be an extra special fun hike because we have so many friends here with us. We've got Wes and Krista who are viewer friends that uh, we were able to meet up with while we were here in Joshua Tree. And then you guys remember Garrett and Lindsay. Right now we are underneath Split Rock. Tons of cool rocks here. We found the Indiana Jones rock. So I didn't major in geology, so this is probably wrong. I think these are igneous intrusions where lava squeezed through these cracks and created a different composition of stone. This is this. Yeah. So that's probably maybe two or three inches thick and then there's a big void. Creosote is what this is and you can kind of smell when you rub the... Yes, smell that. Okay. So on the nature hike that we went on a while back, she said these little balls are actually parasites. The fly comes in, a certain kind of fly, I can't remember what kind, comes in, lays its eggs, and it causes the tree to form this defensive stuff ball. It. And the fly babies live in there and then they come out and Does it hurt the tree? No. It's just a symbiotic fact of interest. The rock here is super crumbly. It was interesting when we were at the mountain bike trail system they have nearby. It was super slippery, even though it's very abrasive. <laughs> and uh, Lindsay and Garrett said it was interesting climbing on it too, because it just crumbles in your hands. This is a neat spot. You got all these little pockets here. It's cool to be in the heart of Joshua Tree. We've done some of the side canyons, but it's cool to be in the middle of it. And just in a small two mile hike, you can get into this really cool spot here that we're at. As you know, I'm pretty harsh on national parks mainly because they don't let me bring my dog in and there's so many restrictions. But this is a neat national park. It kind of feels a little more state park-ish. It's not like grandiose like Yosemite with these towering walls or Zion National Park or Tetons. But it's a really special place and it's really neat and I'm glad they have it. So these rocks, it looks like the face of an old man. I can totally see that. Best part of the hike was geeking out about the plants and the rock formations with our friends that we were hiking with today. Best part of the hike was the face, the rock that looked like a human face with the nose and the eyes. It's pretty cool. That was cool. Best part of the hike for me was all the little scrambling spots where you can just kind of play on all the rocks that are about 20 feet tall and meeting new friends and getting to know them a little bit better. That's always fun. Best part of the hike was all the neat rock formations and getting to scramble on them. The best part of the hike was when we came into that one section that we were just kind of surrounded by all of the rocks around us. It was kind of a little niche. I like that. Best part of the hike was we've done this hike before several times, so it's nice to do it with friends and be able to show them the cool spots and the fact that people got in climbing all over everything and nobody got hurt. <laughs> <laughs>